Donald Trump attacks FBI's really disgraceful handling of Hillary Clinton email probe. U.S. President Donald Trump has unleashed a blistering attack on the FBI's leadership, even as he praised state and local police officers as a crucial defense against rising violence and crime. Mr. Trump denounced the Bureau for its handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation, calling it really disgraceful and continuing his questioning of his country's intelligence and law enforcement institutions as no president before. We're going to rebuild the FBI, it will be bigger and better than ever, but it is very sad when you look at those documents, and how they've done that is really, really disgraceful, and you have a lot of very angry people that are seeing it. The president's broadside appeared to reflect his anger over revelations senior FBI officials exchanged anti-Trump and pro-Hillary Clinton text messages while working on last year's Clinton probe and during special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into whether Trump associates colluded with Russian officials in the 2016 election. Mr. Trump took aim at the bureau as he was departing for its training academy in Virginia where he lavished praise on graduates of a weeks-long FBI National Academy program for law enforcement leaders from around the country. He praised the graduates, who were trained on FBI standards, touting their accomplishments and pledging his unwavering support. Mr. Trump told law enforcement leaders he was more loyal than anyone else could be to police. Anti-police sentiment is wrong and it's dangerous, he said. Anyone who kills a police officer should get the death penalty. Mr. Trump depicted a nation besieged by violence, using dark rhetoric that was a stark departure from the language of his predecessors. He evoked this week's attempted terror attack in New York when he called for stricter immigration policies. He also delivered a stern warning to members of the international gang MS-13 that his administration would root them out and arrest them. Mr. Trump celebrated his decision to make it easier for local police forces to purchase surplus military equipment and questioned rising violence in Chicago. What the hell is going on in Chicago? What the hell is happening there? Asked Mr. Trump returning to a favorite campaign target. The law enforcement crowd often chuckled and applauded its approval. Mr. Trump has often appeared at ease in front of police groups and loves to suggest they supported him in last year's campaign. Violent crime increased nationally the past two years but has dropped precipitously over the past quarter century. Gun violence in Chicago dropped in 2017 from 2016 and there had been 620 homicides to December 10 compared to 730 at the same time last year. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who has faced Mr. Trump's wrath after recusing him 